Hello everyone and welcome to Career Day. Our professional this week is Ki Dumezi, also known as Dumi. Dumi is a South African young lady who is an IT professional specializing in cyber security for one of the largest mobile companies in South Africa. Dumi will talk us through how she found out about cyber security and what drew her to the profession. If you like this video, remember to hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on our amazing series. Remember to share with your friends as this could be helpful to them as well. Hi everyone, my name is Gitumetsi Todetsi or Dumi. I am born and raised in Johannesburg, the city of gold, and have been there my whole life from primary school, high school, varsity, and now work. I spent my younger years in Gatle home and moved to Germiston later in my primary school years and have settled down in the East Rand since. As I will describe later on, cybersecurity is a component of information technology or IT as I will refer to it for the rest of this conversation. I am a senior specialist in governance, risk and control at Vodacom Group specializing in cybersecurity. I'm 30 years old and have been working for a total of eight years. My first two years, I worked in IT management consulting and transitioned into cybersecurity. I have been in the security industry for six years. How I heard about cybersecurity as a career is very interesting. I am part of Geek Culture, which is a tech community in South Africa. It creates and enables platforms for innovation and creativity while exposing young talent and skills to the industry for opportunities. While working on some of our projects, I noticed that security is an important component in all IT systems, no matter what function they perform, and that there are different roles and responsibilities in security. This was in 2013, and I was in my last year of university. I attended a lot of talks hosted by Microsoft, talks at the Josie Hub at 44 Stanley, hackathons, and other IT-related networking events. I will be honest and say what was attractive about it was job security. It is well known that there is currently a skills shortage in the industry. I didn't always want to do it, but that's because I didn't always know that the career existed. I always thought IT was programming and making sure computers and networks are working. That is also a big part of security, but in security, the focus is more on securing the systems, which means ensuring confidentiality, integrity, and availability. I went to Germiston High School in Germiston, Johannesburg. I did English, Afrikaans, Mathematics, life orientation, IT, physical sciences, and accounting. I chose broad subjects so that I can go into either of the fields at the end of high school. I wasn't sure at the time what I was going to do. I was also lucky that my high school offered IT, which also taught programming and not only Microsoft Office or Computer Applied Technologies as it was called at the time. I did well in English, IT, and mathematics. In grade 10, I won a competition that was hosted at the high school for programming again. I think that's when I knew that I should do IT. I did well in mathematics, but only towards the end. I needed lots of tutoring and extra lessons. It's important to remember that you will not always be inherently good at things. Some things take a lot of work, practice, and discipline to have good outcomes. My subjects helped me. I was able to combine the commercial understanding I got from accounting and the technical understanding that I got from IT to carry me through my studies and now through my career. I studied BCom IT management at the University of Johannesburg and a few years into my employment, I studied a postgraduate diploma in management specializing in corporate governance at Monash University. 
I obtained a certification for ISO 27001 through BSI, which is one of IT security's recommended practices for information security management systems. I chose UJ because it was a little close to home and would enable me to study further and still live at home to be close to family. I definitely love the support and especially having good food all the time. It took me three years to finish my undergrad at UJ and two years to complete my postgrad because I was doing it part-time while working. The certification was a one-week course with an exam at the end of the week. The one thing that got me through was staying at home. My whole family is based in Johannesburg, so being able to see them all frequently in between studies and having their support was a real blessing. This one is going to sound weird, but I love food. And any time I was feeling challenged, I would take strolls in grocery stores, Woolies specifically, and know that I am working towards affording all those good meals. I had a bursary in my first year, but my dad paid for my fees for the rest of the year. My family had to chip in for other things like transport, textbooks, lunch money, and clothing, which was a luxury, by the way. It was through the support of my family that I was able to complete my studies. When I went to Monash, I had saved up so I was able to pay my own fees. The certification was paid for by the organization that I was working for at the time. As I said earlier, I am a senior specialist in governance, risk, and control at Vodacom Group, specializing in cybersecurity. Governance influences how an organization's objectives are set and achieved, how risk is monitored and addressed, and how performance is optimized. It is very important decision-making for management, executives, and boards. Risk identifies potential threats to the organization and looks at ways to analyze, monitor, manage, and treat the risks so that they either don't materialize or have very little impact to the company. Control is looking at the things that the company has implemented to see if they are fit for purpose and operating effectively to reduce the risks. Cybersecurity is working on securing all digital systems, internet-facing systems, and the information they host. I am based in Johannesburg in Midrand, but the scope of my work covers South Africa, Ghana, Tanzania, Mozambique, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Kenya, and Lesotho. This is the beauty of remote working. Work can be done from anywhere, and the diversity really opens your eyes through the collaboration and talking to people from other parts of the world. When I wake up, I get my day started with a cup of coffee and catch up on all the hacker news. There is no day that goes by without a new breach, vulnerability, or cyber discovery being made. It is an area that needs you to be on your feet with current affairs. Our days are different and flexible. Cybersecurity is an unpredictable environment, so anything can happen in a day. But I will give an overview of some of the things we do. We have stand-ups and catch-ups to see if we as a team are on track or if there are any issues that we need to resolve. This happens with the teams across the different countries. We spend the day gathering information for reporting, doing security risk assessments for new and existing applications, and collecting statistics on cybersecurity initiatives across the organization. We then compile these reports and send them on to be reviewed, where they will be discussed with the technology leadership team. It is also important that we keep track of potential malicious activities that are happening across our networks and track the status of security incidents if there are any open. We often reflect on work that has been done and issues that have been fixed so that we can better manage risks going forward. We have a lot of meetings throughout the day because we are dealing with different teams and different countries. I enjoy that the industry is growing and that we are collectively learning about issues as they come up and we collaborate globally to resolve them. Cybersecurity can be very stressful because it is a high risk environment. 
All companies use IT, and if your security is compromised through a breach, being hacked, or systems being offline, it can have a huge impact on the business generating profits. My career is everything I thought it would be. With regards to how much the starting salary is, a GRC specialist early in their career can earn anything between 144000 and 545000 per annum. This varies from company to company. There are also many fields in security such as penetration testing, networking, vulnerability management, which also have their respective salary brands. When I started working, I started a savings account which would debit every month. I figured it was the smart thing to do before getting used to getting the income. I also gave back to the family. It is always good to give back to the people who helped you get up. I bought some formal clothing for work and of course, I filled up the fridge. (laughs) My dream is that one day we as South Africa will have a wealth of our own information sources to rely on that will contextualize our challenges in relation to our unique problems. There is still a lot of reliance on first world countries for insights, statistic, research and development, and solutions. The words of wisdom that I have for you is that remember that life is a journey. And once you make a decision, you should give it your all so that if it doesn't work out, you know you did your best. The truth is that people speak a lot about success, but success needs you to be very comfortable with failure and learning from mistakes. It is okay to change your mind. There is no need to stay on one path, even when it's not working out. If you are doing what you believe is right, right now, that is what matters.